In a previous video, I discussed a new feature that we've added in the software that allows you to import and export user-created assets. And I made mention in that video that we've created a number of assets for you that you can use and play with so that you can get familiar with importing um, assets and getting started with this tool. So I wanted to take a moment and show you a few of the assets that we have created and how to import them into your system. Before you get started, um, before you can actually import these, you need to make sure that you download the file that was provided with the update. And you'll need to remember where you save that into your computer so that you can bring it in easily. So I'm going to come up to Tools. This is where we would come to actually import the assets. So I'm going to go to Tools and I'm going to choose Import Assets and when I click this it's going to bring up Windows Explorer and what this allows me to do is to go and locate the file that I want to import in the system one that was sent to me or in this case the one that you downloaded with the update and when you um, download it there's going to be a number of different free assets that you can work with you'll see free custom shapes free fancy fill patterns free fonts, free motifs, free standard fill patterns, and free wordplay shapes. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this first one which is just free custom shapes and I'm going to choose open. And when I do that it brings me up to this import assets dialog box and you'll see that it has this custom shapes um, referenced here and I can click this arrow and it's going to show me all of them that are available. I'm going to select over here where it says check all because I want to bring them all into my system. Okay. And I'll choose OK. And then I'll be able to get out of it. Those are now installed. So now let me go to Tools, Import Assets, and I'm going to do these as well. So the fancy fill patterns. These are the ones that are available. Check all. OK. And that warning I'm getting is just because I already have them installed. You'll do that each time for each one of those um, assets. And so it's pretty easy to load them in your system. The only thing you have to do is when you download it, remember where you saved it on your computer so that you can access it um, when you go to Tools and Import Assets. So it's a pretty easy tool to use. And um, here is some of the things that we've added with this update. So Custom Shapes. These are the custom shapes that you will receive when you import them into your system. And custom shapes are very unique. Um, they're artwork files, so there's no stitch data in them. But what you can do with um, custom shapes is you can convert them into anything that you want to convert them to. And custom shapes are located up here in this icon in the upper right hand corner. Um, and it says custom shapes. You just click on that icon and it loads the custom shapes dialog here and you'll see um, these are the ones that are available that you see behind this window you'll see that it shows up this one baby the bear they're all just located within this same folder they're all in color so a lot of the other ones don't have it filled in color so they're pretty easy to find and those are the custom shapes that are available to work with a custom shape, all you do is find the one that you want, select it, and it brings it into the system. So those are the custom shapes. Now let's take a look at the wordplay shapes. The wordplay shapes are these that you see right here. The wordplay shapes work with our wordplay tool. So when you import these, it's going to throw them into this wordplay tool. So I'll click on the tool here and when I click the down arrow you're going to see that this bears there. Um, we had the duck right here. I'll go ahead and select it and you can see that's the duck shape and the word play you simply put in the words that you want along with a comma in between the words. You can choose the height and the width like I could make this a six um, about a seven by six 
and I can do a 3D view, um, but I could just type in duck. Um, and I'm going to type in duck again to have it twice as much, and then goose, like if you're playing that game, duck, duck, goose, I guess. And you can choose the font that you want to use, and you just generate uh, the the words on the screen and you have different options. We do have a video that shows you how to work with the wordplay tool. It was um, provided with an update a while back and it just lets you see, which that's a great font for this. Um, you can change the size, you can do a lot of different things with it, but that's wordplay shapes and those, I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this. These are the new options available for wordplay shapes and again it works with the wordplay tool so standard fill patterns standard fill patterns are just fill patterns in the software and so you have the ability in the software to create um, different fill patterns and so the two that came with it and just so you know pattern one and smooth are my two favorite they're ones that already come with the software so those are the ones that I typically use default is pattern one uh, smooth is down here, but the two that were added with this update when you import them are going to be located up at the top. So you have a 001 and then you have 002 and you can apply both of those and you can see the fill patterns are a little different. It's hard to tell until you stitch them out exactly what they look like, but they are different than the other fill patterns that come with the software and um, so I wanted to show you those to you and again those are standard fill patterns they become available as an option for any fill pattern that you have in a design and they're just located up at the top and they'll be in a green color so that'll help distinguish them from the ones that already came with your software fancy fill patterns these are um, like emboss type patterns and I'm going to go ahead and select, let me go ahead and select each of these. And I'm going to come down here to the bottom and I can convert it to a fancy fill with this icon. Or I can come up top here and I can choose fancy here and press apply. And this just applied that fancy fill pattern to each of these. I'm going to select the first one and I'm going to select this drop down arrow for the pattern in the properties box and I'm going to scroll up and the three that were added are the ones that are listed as 01 FL, 02 FL, and 03 FL so I'm going to choose this 01 and I'm going to press apply and it's going to apply that fancy fill pattern that we created for you and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to find the 02 FL this is another fill pattern that was created that you can utilize and let's go to 03 FL and you can see each one is very different from the other um, these are just some fancy fills that you can play with and we've added them in the software so when you well we've added gave you the ability to import these into your software so as long as you import these in from the file um, that you have the ability to download you'll be able to access these fonts we've actually included four fonts for you so these are brand new fonts that did not exist in the software before and so the first one is cabbage patch the second one is printer bold the third one is smiley face and the fourth one is streamers so when you download that file um, when you go to tools and you go to import and you find that folder um, or you find that area where you saved your download you'll just choose the free fonts and you'll choose open and you will actually just install these into your system and you can see that when I choose open I can so you can select those and press OK and it will install them into your software and they'll be ready to use now one of the things that I did that you may want to do or not want to do that anytime that I have created a new font or I've received a new font um, what I like to do is go into preferences 
which is uh, the program preference icon right here, or um, you can go to tools and preferences. I go over to the um, the fonts um, folder area, and what I like to do is I like to find the font, like this case was Cabbage Patch, um, Printer Bold, Smiley Face, and Streamers. So I found them in this list right here, and all you do is select it and then choose Favorites, and it will add them to your Favorites. Now what that does for you, I've already done it as you can see, um, what that does for you is when you go to use the font um, tool, so if I go to choose the text tool, and I click on the screen, what this does is it puts those at the top because I've said that they're my favorites, and so they are already up at the top, ready to go for me. I don't have to go and try to find them somewhere else. Um, that is a great feature we added um, a few updates ago, allowing you to mark some fonts as your favorites and have them show up on um, at the top of the list. And you'll see that this has its own little icon. There's a little F. It's hard to see, but there's a little F with um, a little yellow symbol next to it. And that represents fonts that you've created. Um, or that you received and you imported. So it's a separate icon just for ones that are new um, that you received or created and they would just show up in this list wherever those fonts are you would see that icon as well. So it's just another way to allow you to see which ones were um, that you imported into the system. So the fonts, they're really cool, they're really neat. I'm, I'm excited to be able to share those with you. And so those are the free fonts. And then the last thing that we have is the free motifs that were created and exported so that you could have them for your system. And you'll see them listed here. So these are the different motif patterns that were added to the system. So again, that was done by tools, import assets, finding where that downloaded file was and you would choose the free motifs and open those and import those into your program. So when I select it, you'll see that um, the name of this one is 006 FL 20 PS, which the PS stands for pattern size. We have this one 001, 002, 003, 004, 005 this one 007 so um, these might look the same but they're actually a little bit different and the difference comes in this area right here um, the main reason for that is if you use this with a fill pattern it'll give you a different effect so it's kind of cool to actually create a large fill area and then fill it with one of these motifs and you'll see that it you know fills in these two fill in a little bit different and that's why they were there's a slight variation to it but the motifs are um, another thing that you have the ability to create and export and please watch out for another video on how to actually create these yourself so that you can share them with others um, that's one of the things that you've always had the ability to do in the software is create uh, motifs and fill patterns and all of that custom shapes you've always had the ability to do it it's just now we've given you the ability to easily share it and make it easy for somebody that you do share it with to bring it into their system so those are the free assets um, really easy to load hope that you enjoy them